This is an instructional video of how to perform an adult cystogram and voiding cystourethrogram. Please view separate video for performance of a pediatric cystogram and pediatric voiding cystourethrogram. Indications for a cystogram VCUG. One, postoperative evaluation such as prostatectomy, bladder repair, and ureteral reinsertion. Two, post trauma. Three, bladder reflux. Four, female with chronic UTIs. Before beginning the procedure, meet with the patient and perform aid it. A. Acknowledge the patient. I. Introduce yourself to the patient. D. Discuss the duration of the procedure, which is about 10 to 15 minutes. E. Explain the procedure to the patient. T. Thank the patient. Take a scout KUB of the patient's abdomen in the supine position with the field of view including the kidneys and bladder. This is an example of a KUB image. Place a Foley catheter into the patient's bladder if not already present. Hang the cystograph in contrast three to four feet above the table, typically on an IV pole. Ensure that the tubing from the bag of contrast to the Foley catheter does not go below the table. With the patient in the supine position on the fluoroscopy table, fill the patient's bladder with contrast. Bladder volume of adults varies. Tailor your examination to the patient. Most patients tolerate 3 to 400 milliliters of contrast, while in postoperative patients, 150 milliliters is typically sufficient. Collimate the field of view to focus on the bladder to prevent unnecessary dosage to surrounding structures. Intermittently fluoroscopy the patient's bladder as contrast is filling it. For example, fluoroscopy the bladder after 25% of contrast has filled the bladder and then after 50% of contrast has filled the bladder. If something is seen, image captured and cater the exam towards this finding. This is an image of the bladder while it's filling. Once the bladder is full, turn the patient into the LPO and RPO positions and image the bladder. Then image the bladder in the AP position. This is the LPO position. This is an image of the bladder in the LPO position. This is the RPO position. This is an image of the bladder in the RPO position. This is the AP position. This is an image of the bladder in the AP position. Depending on the ordering physician's request and the indication for the exam, the Foley catheter may or may not need to be removed. If the Foley catheter is to remain within the patient, place the contrast on the floor and let the contrast drain out of the patient's bladder to gravity. After the contrast has drained out of the bladder, take a post void KUB image, including the kidneys, to evaluate for reflux. This is a post void KUB image. If a bladder leak is visualized, stop the contrast. Capture images in multiple views, including bilateral oblique images, to fully characterize the leak. This is an image of a bladder leak. If a VCUG is requested, it will typically be for women with recurrent UTIs. After the bladder is full, remove the Foley catheter, raise the table so the patient is in the standing position, and give the patient a urine collection device. Have the patient void. While the patient is voiding, image capture with rapid sequence of 2 to 3 frames per second over the urethra for about 2 to 3 seconds. Then change back to fluoroscopy and pan up to the kidneys to ensure there is no reflux. Take a post void KUB. This is an image of a post void KUB. Summary 1. Aid it. 2. Scout KUB in supine position. 3. Place Foley catheter and begin contrast installation. 4. Collimate field of view to focus on bladder. 5. Intermittently fluoroscopy the patient's bladder as contrast is filling. 6. Once the bladder is full, image in the LPO, RPO, and AP position. 7. Let contrast drain to gravity. 8. Obtain post void KUB. 9. If a leak is seen, stop contrast and take images in multiple positions. 10. For VCUG, remove Foley catheter, raise patient to the standing position, give the patient a urine collection device and image capture over the urethra while voiding. 11. Obtain post-void KUB.